Hey, what's up, guys? There's a little uh, PSA. The uh, TSA. <laughs> it's a PSA for the TSA. Um, of course, a lot of you guys are messaging me now. Um, the airlines are now going to allow um, certain sports equipment as well as small pocket knives. Now, first of all, um, people ask me all the time, you know, what's the deal with flying? What can I bring? Guns, knives, what's the, the stipulations? I'm not a lawyer. I can't give definitive information. You know, you really have to just look into it in great depth and detail to really know for sure. But um, I've been reading the, I'm going to link you directly to what I've read uh, from um, CNN. And uh, by the way, these, these changes are going to be effective April 25th of this year. So if you're flying before that, then oh well. But um, basically, they're they're going to start allowing some of the uh, sports equipment like hockey sticks, golf clubs, things of that nature, um, pool cues to be brought on carry-on, as well as small knives, uh, pocket knives. Now, there are specific stipulations, which I'm going to read to you. The first one is the blade ha can be no longer than 2.36 inches or 6 centimeters in length. All right, so 2.36 inches is a small blade. So that's going to cut out most of your guys' EDC knives. But um, one example here they have just pictured is a uh, SAC Classic. Okay, so to give you a reference as to about the length um, that you're going to be limited to, they're also showing some pocket knives, basically the knife knife part of a bottle opener, like multi-tool. But um, yeah, you're going to be limited to a very small blade. Another stipulation is blade the blade's width can be no long, uh, no more than a half inch at its widest point. So it's not just a length limit, but it's also a width limit, which is unique. Um, also, it says the uh, the knife this uh, the knife cannot have a locking or fixed blade. So um, <laughs> we're talking slip joints here, very small slip joint blades. Uh, and then finally, this one's kind of strange. It says the uh, knife uh, cannot have a molded grip. Not really sure the purpose of that. But so be it. <laughs> no molded grips. Um, you know, you could see some of the examples here picture, but basically these knives are going to be very, very small pen knives. Like I said, SAC Classic. Um, they cannot be locking in any way. So you're very limited, but I still think this is a pretty big win overall for knife people. Um, just to be able to uh, to be allowed to have a knife on a plane now is, um, I think it's a Definitely a step in the right direction, and I'm very pleased with this uh, this news. It's pretty cool. Um, so congratulations to to everyone who is pro knives and pro rights. This is definitely easing up on some of the ridiculous limitations we have in our country, specifically in this case when you're traveling. Um, I I am planning a trip to go down to uh, Florida to see a friend, um, or sometime soon, hopefully sooner than later. But um, it's interesting because I haven't I haven't flown in probably 15 years. Last time I, I was on a plane, I think I went to Disney with the family. I went to Vegas with my family once. Um, I wasn't old enough to gamble, so that kind of stunk at the time. But um, I don't fly much, and I haven't flown in a very long time. I think it's kind of funny that now I'm going to be flying soon, hopefully, and uh, they just changed the knife laws. So at least I can bring something, a little something-something, you know. Actually, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to ship – all my EDC stuff uh, to the uh, the place I'm going to end up in Florida this way. I don't have to worry about traveling with it. So that's just my own personal decision to do that. But uh, regardless, I wanted to spread the news. I will link you to this uh, exact um, story so you can see more details and read up about it. Of course, you can find this information elsewhere online as well. But uh, I think it's pretty, co pretty cool. It's definitely a step in the right direction. And although very limited... At least it's something. You can have a little blade on us, you know. So uh, I think that's that's really, really cool. So a total win today for uh, for the knife community. And like I said, just to, even if you're not into knives, to the pro-rights community, anyone who's for having our rights continue to be our rights, you know, and not be limited in something as simple as traveling. Uh, unfortunately, some people have no choice but to travel whether it's for work or maybe, you know, you just want to see your family and that's the only means for you to travel. Could be time restrictions, so you have to fly. And if you're forced in a situation where you have to do something like that, no one really has to do anything, but there's a lot of situations where you're just, you don't have many options but to fly. It's nice to know at least they're letting up a little bit on the uh, security stuff. So I think they're going to be pleasantly surprised to find that, you know, people are going to start carrying very small pocket knives. I mean, this is going to really... Um, 
uh, small thing, not really knife people so much as just the average person who maybe have the nail clippers in their luggage or maybe um, a very small uh, nail file, something along those lines. They're not going to be basically harassed anymore. Um, and, you know, these things aren't going to be seized anymore. So it, it really, I like how the airlines are kind of saying that these small items really don't pose a major threat. And that if someone is going to want to hijack a plane or something, they'll always find a way to do it. Um, having some of these security measures in place, some are helpful, some aren't helpful. I think this is, I think this is great. No one says it. I'm not going to keep <laughs> beating a dead horse here, which I often do. I guess I really don't like horses because I just keep beating them. And they're already dead. And I just keep kicking them and kicking them and repeating myself. So anyway, that's it. Total win for the knife community. So congratulations. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your time. And uh, I hopefully uh, you'll have an awesome day today. And if you happen to be flying very soon, at least you can bring a little something, something. So <laughs> now I'm going. I'm off to measure my Spyderco bug to see if this is within its the limits here. Because <laughs> it just popped in my head. I love to carry the bug on a plane. So. It's a great day for America. <laughs> All right. Uh, hope you enjoy your, your day, guys. I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.